And some of Pelosi's legislative achievements over the years include the historic passage of the Affordable Care Act during the Obama administration, the COVID-19 relief bill under President Biden, as well as the Build Back Better infrastructure bill. And reaction has certainly been coming in from both sides of the aisle. In fact, take a listen to what Governor Gavin Newsom said during his stop in the North Bay today. No one has been more effective. No one has been more consequential in modern American history in that position. Um, and I don't think that's overstated. And former Republican House Speaker John Boehner tweeted this. Congratulations, Speaker Pelosi, on a remarkable historic run in service in the People's House. We were able to disagree without being disagreeable. You've been unfailingly gracious to me and my family. And shortly after Speaker Pelosi's announcement, the number two and number three Democrats said they would also step aside from their leadership roles, which could usher in an era of new and younger leadership within the party. And joining us now with more is San Jose State political science professor Donna Crane. And Donna, thank you so much for joining us this evening after our long election coverage just a few weeks ago. Um, <laughs> let's start with um, your, your reaction, your remarks to today's end of an era. I mean, it's hard to imagine the House of Representatives without Nancy Pelosi, either at the helm of it or as the minority leader. Uh, I think she was in a leadership position for all of the 25 or so years uh, I was in Washington and, uh, and really put her imprint um, both policy-wise and procedurally, politically, on every major piece of legislation that went through Congress in that time. Yeah, what will this shift mean for the Democratic Party as a whole? I think the, the most important thing is that we're seeing a transition of generations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she, Mr. Hoyer, Mr. Clyburn are all in their 80s. They have all occupied top positions in Congress uh, for almost a whole generation. And now we're going to see a new crop of folks stepping forward. I, I mentioned the today's news to all of my classes today. And, you know, bless their hearts, the students are in their early 20s and they, they know her and they know her reputation. Uh, and they, but they all unfailingly said, well, it's time for some new people to step forward. So I think, I think that's what we're seeing is an entire generation stepping back from leadership and a new one emerging. Right. So let's talk about what it means for the Bay Area, San Francisco specifically. Will she lose her clout when it comes to pushing for bills in her district? Uh, I, I mean, I think that she's going to be serving out the remainder of her term. And so I think there's going to be a lot of deference given to her mm -hmm. during that time. Uh, I think the bigger change is when you go from the majority to the minority position, you have a lot less influence uh, during that shift. Uh, I, I do think she's gonna, there's going to be a lot of goodwill extended to her for the remainder of her term. But she when she steps away and a new member comes in, then, then that person you know, more or less starts from beginning. Yeah, that's true. She had so much influence to so many people, and they've shared that today. Even Eric Swalwell was talking about the impact that she's had on him. But what does this mean for women who are seeking uh, roles in politics, her stepping away? What does that mean for them stepping in? Well, she she came of age uh, into House leadership at a time when there were very few women in the chamber and almost none with any real clout. So she, uh, you know, she really did blaze a path for women. But I do think, uh, you know, in the 20 plus years that have intervened, uh, a lot more women have come into the into Congress, into both chambers, in fact. And there's a whole um, group of them waiting in the in the wings, if you will, to step into leadership positions. So people are talking about Hakeem Jeffries as the likely new minority leader. But I'm also thinking of people like Catherine Clark and folks like that um, who are not only of the new generation, but um, look very different from the, the crowd of, of shall we say, older men that, that has been accustomed to running Congress. All right, Donna Crane, well, thank you, Professor at San Jose State. Did you tell your students to watch tonight? Will they get extra credit? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 they get plenty of me already. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Donna Crane, thank you so much. Appreciate you having you with us.